Philosopher Kings, Book Six, The Philosopher Rule, Five Hundred C. Because the true philosopher, as you know, Adamantus, whose mind is on higher realities, has no time to look at the affairs of men or to take part in the quarrels with all the jealousy and bitterness they involve. His eyes are turned to contemplate fixed and immutable realities, a realm where there is no injustice done or suffered, but all is reason and order, and which is the model, which he imitates. And to which he assimilates himself as far as he can. For is there any way to stop a man assimilating himself to another, with which he enjoys dealing? So the point of this is that the philosopher make good rulers because they are attracted to knowledge and truth. Thus, they are not grounded on things of this world like wealth, power, or ambition. It is hoped that their love of knowledge translates to applications. Of that knowledge for the benefit of society, the problem, however, is that philosopher kings make reluctant rulers, since they are not even interested with statecraft and power in the first place. Plato talks about them having to be forced into rule, which may have adverse consequences if they don't have the interests of the state as its top priority. Thus, in conclusion, leaders need to be wise to pursue the transcendental good, true, and just. But they also must keep the interests of the state in mind to properly take care of it and maintain justice. Thanks for watching.